In our previous lesson of Galatians 2, 11 through 13, we talked about how Paul confronted Peter and his falling away from preaching the gospel to a reverting back to Jewish customs of the law when the authorities arrived. In Galatians 2, 14 through 16, today's lesson, we learn the details of this conversation. Paul says that when he realized that they, meaning Peter and Barnabas, were not keeping straightforward with the gospel message, he confronted Peter in front of everyone. He asked Peter in verse 14, If you, being a Jew, live in the manner of Gentiles and not as the Jews, why do you compel Gentiles to live as Jews? He then goes on to remind Peter of how they are aware that man is not justified through works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Then Paul reiterates this statement to show the importance of it. This is possibly the biggest stumbling block that Satan uses to prevent us from having a true relationship with Jesus. In Genesis 1.26, and I'm going to quote from the New King James Version, God said, Let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God is almighty, sovereign, all-knowing and all-seeing. He is Lord, the master of, above all. He is the ultimate ruler of all. My point here is that we, being made in the image of God and given dominion over all the creatures of the earth, have this same desire within us. When sin entered the world, this desire to have dominion over all the creatures <clears throat> of the earth was corrupted into a desire to be our own God. We are created in God's image. We want to be like God. Sin entered the world and corrupted us into wanting to be God. It's just the same as when Lucifer fell from heaven. He was the first to have a desire to be God. <clears throat> and now, in his fallen state, has taken on the task of preventing all man from realizing our true place in having a righteous relationship with God. In convincing us that we or or can be our own God, Satan invokes pride, arrogance, and self-centeredness in our lives and makes us fall from the grace of God just as he did. Satan is evil and he doesn't play by the rules. All he cares about is keeping us away from God, keeping us away from our only way to God, which is through faith in Christ Jesus as made possible for us by God's grace because of his great love for us. Folks, we are not our own gods and we cannot earn our way to heaven by doing good works. It is the biggest deceitful plan in Satan's arsenal against all of us to make us believe that we can get to heaven on our own goodness. We have no goodness within us. We are sinful man. Paul tells us in Romans 3.23, For we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. He goes on in Romans 6.23 to tell us, For the wages of sin is death. But he tells us of the victory in Christ for all who will believe in him. In the second part of Romans 6.23, he says, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. If Jesus is our Lord and the giver of eternal life, then how can we be our own Lord and gain anything except the lies and death that is the result of sin that is ruled by Satan? The answer is that we cannot. As I said before, this is the biggest trickery of Satan in his attempt to keep us from experiencing true life in Christ Jesus, something that Satan himself forfeited because of his own selfish desires, the same thing he strives to use against each of us. The only way out is through Jesus, who paid our price due to sin, which is death, so that we might live through what he has done, not anything that we have or ever will do for ourselves. God sent his one and only son to save the world from sin. Don't you think that he would have prevented sacrificing his own son if there was another way? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Choose Jesus. 
live today and for all eternity in his glory and righteousness as he first intended it to be. Dear Lord, I truly believe that the biggest misconception that Satan uses in this world is to make us believe that we can earn our own way to heaven. Jesus said in John 8, 44, that Satan is a liar and the father of it. Satan will always strive to keep us away from experiencing true life through our true Lord and Savior that you sent by your grace and love to us to save us from sin, death, and Satan. He wants to trick us into falling away from you for eternity. Dear Lord, please open our eyes, hearts, minds, and souls to the love of Christ Jesus that we may confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that Jesus died for our sins and rose from the grave. In this we will be saved from the sinful nature of this world and the grasp of Satan, as Paul tells us in Romans 10, 9, and 10. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.